everybody. Cindy Otter here with my RC Endeavors. Okay, I got the texture bug. Thank you, Gina. Um, I have a whole bunch of textures here that I'm going to play around with. I've got some gessos. I have crackle paste. I'm not sure why I got that out. This is a special effect paste, texture paste, coarse texture gel, um, gold mica flake, small. This is like a uh, stuff. <laughs> And then I have a super heavy gesso, and I have a hard molding paste. This is excellent for building surfaces, creating texture, altering sheen, and changing body. And then I also have this um, is a roll of, I just got this yesterday. Um, it's a roll of cement board tape, okay? And first of all, I love the color of it. I love the gray. Um, but I also thought it would make a really cool texture if I could ever find the end of it. So let me um, get my stuff together here and we'll just play around with some texture. This is an old piece of cardboard. Um, I just got a new set of curtains for one of my bedrooms and uh, this was in it. So we're going to play around with it. So let me grab the stuff together and we'll get right at it. Alright, so I'm going to take some of this super heavy gesso. You know what? I really didn't want to put it in that, but that's okay. We're going to do it. We already got it on there, so we're just going to mess around with it a little bit. This is Now, this is really super, super heavy gesso, so I just want to put a little bit on each. And I'm going to be using lots of different stuff. I just want to see how this all turns out, what it ends up looking like. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll let that dry right there. All right, I want to take a piece of this. I ended up having to uh, cut it because I couldn't find the end, and I still didn't find the end, but that's all right. I want some regular gesso on this. Let's get some gesso here. Yeah, see, I should use a brush. What am I thinking? I am just playing. This will work. Okay. Yeah, because I have all that gesso in those. Stay out of there. In those holes now. Which is fine. It's just a little bit too much in the holes. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with some texture and then that way what I can do is I can actually go through and cut some of this off when I need it or when I want to use it. Okay, I just want to put that down. I want to put a few of these down. This I think I would like to put on the really hard gesso because I think this would be really cool coming up through it. Just gonna put that on there. Okay. I've got some of this tape. This is just like an athlete's tape. Like I said, I'm just playing because I want to see what some of this texture does with the heavier gesso and with the lighter gesso and just want to play. So this is the heavier gesso. Okay. I love these tapes and I don't use them enough. I really need to use them more because I just love whoops, the texture that they give um, to the projects. So I'm going to mm. 
Okay. You know what? I'm going to put a couple pieces right here, too. Somebody's pinging me. Ping, ping, ping. Ping away. Let me see this one. There we go. See, look at all this cool texture in these. There's so many different kinds of, I don't know what this is, cement stuff or drywall tape or um, there's just all these different kinds. So I'm just playing with them. I want to see what I, you know, what kind of textures I can use these as and and hope I don't start singing because I have music in my ear and uh, a lot of times I'll start right in singing. So I apologize in advance if I do that. I'll try not to. Okay, I like that. I love this. I love that thick, thick gesso. Now this, I have no idea even where I got this. It's almost like a um, crepe paper, but it's a lot stronger. Um, no idea. No idea where it even came from. But I love the texture of it. Oops. So I'm just going to try to get that set in some of this super heavy gesso like that and I love this cardboard backing that I've got it on um, it'll be fun to play with and just think about the little nooks and crannies that um, paint and that kind of stuff can go into on here it'll be really cool I need some matte medium because this piece over here toward the corner, let's move that a little bit. I'm not going to gesso, but I am going to glue some of these um, texture pieces to it. For example, this one here, I want to glue it. And I'm using my brush that has gesso on it, and that's okay. I'm actually going to use a little bit more of that hard. Um, come on, stay down there. Stick, you stick. Doesn't want to stick. All right, let me there we go. Stick it down like that. Just use some super heavy gesso. Okay, now I've got some of this paste also. This is the um Viva, and this is just, it's like a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a gravelly paste. Tell I haven't used this one again in a while. But what I want to do, it almost is like a, like a hard frosting. I want to keep it here on this cardboard because I want it to dry and then I can use it. Get a thick layer of it. Oh, you can see it. See the texture? It's all the texture up off top of the like it. I'm going to put a little bit over here on this. Come on. I just want a little bit. I don't want a whole lot. I'll use it, end up overusing it over there more. But I'm just going to. There we go. Okay, so I'll use that texture. 
Alright, now I've got some gold mica here that I want to use. And I'm actually going to use this one that I just used for that grit. Now this has got little gold flakes in it. So I'm just going to put some here. And again, I can use these. I can cut little pieces off this. Um, there's a lot of different ways that I can use this texture. So I'm just playing with getting some texture out here and getting it uh, put down and let it dry. And then I can go ahead and uh, use it in different projects here in the future. This is really, really sticky. Um, I like it. Just going to put some down here. Let it stick. Ooh, good idea. Let's put some of this right in this gritty, painty stuff. Okay. I like that. All right, I still have a piece here. Um, let me bring you out a little bit. All right, so you can see what I've got. It looks like I've got a mess here, but I'm really excited for when it dries. Um, it's going to look really cool. Okay, that one doesn't want to stay down. I love that super heavy gesso. I'm finding that out. All right, what else am I going to do with this little guy? Whoops. Let's stick him back on the roll for now. Okay. So we've got the gold, we've got the super heavy gesso. Let's throw some crackle paste down. I know it's supposed to crackle by itself, yada yada, but we're just going to put some on here. Let's see what happens. So let's, you know, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it crackles. See what it does. See what kind of texture it leaves us. Okay, so there's some crackle paste. Okay, we've got the hard molding paste. We've got the coarse texture gel. Let's put some of this down. Okay, this says to use it with acrylic paint, but I don't want to use it with paint. Um, I want to just make the texture and then we'll put the paint on later on. And these may take a couple days to dry and I'm good with that. It's okay. Um, I just want to put different types of texture on these again that I can use in future projects. Okay, we're going to make sure that stays down. Okay. All right, so what else do we have here? Um, use that. This is just plain old texture paste, and this is usually what I use through stencils. Um, let's put some of this on here. just regular texture paste. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different types of texture on these. I'm going to set them aside and let them dry probably for a couple days and then we're going to play some more. But for now, I've got these two pieces also, so let's use them, right? Why not? Let's throw some gesso down. These are just a couple of the lances that I just uh, picked up. They say they're navy blue. They're not navy blue. They're like a uh, sea blue. Not really navy. That's okay. Alright. Oops. Take the top off, Cindy. You get more that way. Okay. All right. 
So we're going to do the same thing. I want to use up some of these and just get some different areas of texture. And then, like I said, I'll let these dry. Um, and they may, may take a couple days, depending on how heavy I layer on the um, different textures, especially the, uh, you know, the wet textures. Okay, now because I do like this super heavy gesso, I'm going to go ahead and use that on some of this. And what it'll also do is it'll help hold it down. Like it. Okay. Okay, now I want to use some more of this. I know back when I was um, doing the art journaling, um, when Crazy Island Family first got together and I was doing the um, swaps, <clears throat> back then I was very new to mixed media and I was looking for textures and I actually, I don't know if, if, I don't even know who it went to at this point, but I don't even know if the girl realized it, but I had sent um, a piece that I had done and I actually used uh, birch bark. I have a birch, a white birch tree out back, and I actually used that for, I think it was for the base of a tree, and that was so fun to use, you know, a natural piece of texture. To be honest with you, I can't remember who got it now or, you know, when. I just know that in one of those art journal books out there somewhere that I did, there's an actual piece of bark. So that was kind of cool. All right, I like this tape. Let's play around with the tape some more. I think this is like a sports athlete tape. I think I found it in um, dollar store maybe. It's just an athlete's tape. And I like the fact that it has a coarse top on it, which is gonna make this look really cool to use for um, with paints, acrylic paints, or even watered down uh, gessos, or um, watered down acrylics, watercolors, whatever. It's gonna look really cool to use. And again, I'm not trying to make anything here. I am just putting down textures, and then you know adding a little bit to them. Let me use that. Oh, Micah. I'm just using some textures just to get them out of the jar and get them put on things and let's see what they can do. You know, let's see how we can use them. And again, this is inspired by Gina Ahrens. Uh, she did a bunch of packaging and I just thought about it when these came in tonight. I thought, well, you know what, I'll use them. And uh, let's see what we can come up with, you know. I think it's an interesting way to look at what kind of textures you have hanging around and you know how you can use them in your projects. When I, another thing when I first started doing this mixed media I was so worried that I was going to use something up. Well you know what? <laughs> you have to use it. <laughs> so I've learned that you know it's okay you can use it up. You know there's always a store there's always more I may not have it today or tomorrow, but, you know, once I get to the store, I'll get some more of it. So, I like this super heavy gesso. I am finding that out really quick. Just going to put that down. I like that. Alright, I'm going to use a, do I have a, I have a thing of heavy gel. No, that's not it. One of them that's almost empty. Oh, I think I emptied it. 
let's use up this matte gel. Okay. This is just regular matte gel. And what I want to do is I just want to hold some of this down. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't need it all completely flat on here. I just want to hold it down so that it'll glue it down. Okay. And again, this is just for texture. I'm not making anything. I'm just playing. Having fun, getting messy. Need some more of this. Use some more of this tape. Okay. I'm going to look around. I know I have different fibers and stuff that I want to use for texture also. So once I get done putting this tape on, um, I'm going to see what I can find in my fiber stores um, where I can just use a little bit on a couple of these. Just to get some different textures that I can use in the projects. Okay. So let me grab some fibers. I do want to put some fibers on this other side, maybe even some here, and I'll be right back. All right, I didn't have to go far. I had a bunch right here in the little bottom uh, that I was using. So let me put on some more doo -doo -doo matte gel. And what I've got here is just some odd and end fabrics. Or, or fibers, I should say, strings. Let's put some of it down. And these are just odd and end pieces that I happen to have. They're probably out because I was doing something with them with another project. So I'm just using, this is just matte gel, and what I'm doing is just basically gluing it down. Actually, I'm going to put some of this over here. There we go. All right, now this is some of the uh, recollections. It's a string that they were selling here not too long ago. It was part of the boho. And what I want to do is just kind of undo it. And when you undo it, it's just smaller pieces of string wrapped all together. So you can actually take it apart. Just unwind it a little bit. Pull it. And you can get pieces. See? Now I don't want to cover all of this. I do want it to stick down though. Actually, you know what, even though that stuff will dry clear, so it doesn't matter. I'm liking it. So we're going to undo some more. And then just, like I said, just pull on it and you end up getting little pieces. There we go.
Okay. I'm liking it. Okay, I still want a little bit more. Let's see. Here's a bit of more green. Here's a pink one. Again, this was the same thing, the boho collection there. Okay, we're going to put part of it right here. This is so much fun. It's fun to get your hands dirty, I think. Especially when it's doing this kind of stuff. Now, if I get my hands dirty cleaning or doing dishes or, you know, that kind of stuff, that's not so much fun. This is the fun stuff. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, here we go. I've got these two. All I want on them. Oops, I need something on top of this tape. Let's use, let's use some hard molding paste and see what it does. Ooh, I like it. All right, so it's kind of like a hard or a heavy gesso, only a little bit more softer. If that makes sense. All right, so we're just gonna play with that. I don't know. This was just sitting here in front of me, and I decided it had to be put on here. Okay. Actually, here's another piece. All right. All right, so we're going to let this sit for a couple days and dry, and then I'll come back on, and I'll show you what it turned out to be looking like. So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I let these dry overnight, and I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you can really see. Look at that texture. I absolutely love this. I gotta put my eyeballs on. Um, I love the gold flake. Look how that turned out. Isn't that fantastic? So now what I need to do, that's one of them. Here's another one. This has got that. It's funny because it's hard, but it's still yet soft enough so that I could bend it to cut it or do whatever I need to do with it. Um, love all of this. They're, they're just neat. It's very cool. Very textury. <laughs> Here's the one I did with the, um, this is just the back or front of a, I can't think of the word, curtain. Um, and I, I just love how these turned out. So now what I'm going to do, this here. It's still up a little bit. No big deal. We can glue that down. But here's this one. And then here's this one. And I just, I love them. I think they're fantastic. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of this texture. And I think how I'm going to use it is on some uh, Rolodex cards. Uh, because I have some little goodies here I need to use up. So let me get that stuff together and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have just a plain Rolodex card here, and I've got this. Now I want to use some of this. Um, I want to use some of the gold. Let me grab my large here. They are scissors. Now these are the uh, scissors that I got from Mayped Helix, and like I've said before, I absolutely love these scissors. So what I'm going to do. I am going to paste that down right there, and I'm just going to use some tacky glue. And the reason I'm using tacky glue is because it's the first thing I grabbed out of my glue container over here. And I'm just going to glue this down eh, right about there. Sounds good. Right in there. Okay, and now I'm just going to 
cut this out. I'm actually going to use this because that's this is just a little bit um, stronger, if you want to call a pair of scissors. Okay, which is it? Scissors or shears? I call them scissors. Okay, look at that. Instant background. A lot of texture to it. I love it. So now I'm going to take just a small pair of scissors. I'm going to cut out my Rolodex part here where it has to go back in the holder. Okay, they don't have to be perfect just so that they can stick back down on the rail in the Rolodex box. Okay. Oh, I love it. Now, I want a little bit of Let's get some distress stain out here. What have I got? I've got two different colors here. I actually found these in my goodies I was looking for the other day. Um, I actually was doing some cleaning. There we go. I want this one. And let's just take a little bit. And I want a little bit of water. There's my spray bottle. And I'm just going to take it. There we go. Now I really should. Let's, let's use this up. Let's not waste it, right? go. Okay, that's just an extra piece. We'll set that aside. I'm going to dry this one up real quick. I almost forgot to turn my camera back on. All right, I'm just taking a Posca and just going around the edges. Um, this is almost all dry. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And just darkening up my edges here. Okay. All right. Now let's see. What are we gonna put on here? I've got these out. Um, these are just some small things that I had set aside. Some little bird cages and a couple little things that. Oops, not that one. A couple little things that say hello. And I just thought they would be really cool. Just kind of hanging out here together. Now the question is, do I want to stain this? I'm going to say yes. We've got some walnut stain here. I'm just going to stain this little piece of wood. Yeah, I like that. Hit it real quick with the dryer. Let's put a little bit more stain on some spots. Boy, that wood's just sucking right in the stain. This to be. This will take stain. Not really, no, because this has got a covering on it. So that won't work. Let me grab some sandpaper. I keep forgetting to turn my camera on. I took my sanding block. And I just sanded this real lightly, and then I took some of the stain, the same walnut stain, and just went around it. Um, and then, because I want it a little bit darker, just took the stain and just kind of went down into the top of the, of the block. It just kind of makes it a little bit more worn instead of looking brand new like that. 
and then I'm just gonna take my tacky glue and like I said there's not a whole lot going on here because I want to keep the texture so I don't want to cover up all that texture so let's just take this we're gonna glue it down I'm gonna give it quite a bit of glue because um, you know with it being all lumpy bumpy okay so that's there and then I just want to put this hello on here Got a couple uh, sticky bumps on it, but I'm just going to use some tacky glue. I really want it just kind of cockeyed here. Okay, now I need some kind of a bling. Oh, let's see what we have for bling. I found this um, just recently in Hobby Lobby and it was on clearance for $1.50. And it's got, I don't know if you can see it, it's got, yeah, there you go. It's like a ribbon, but it's got these little rainbow, and I love it. I just think it's so pretty. So, I'm going to use some of this right here up along this edge just to give it a little pop of something. There we go. I love it. So that is using my texture. Um, I can't wait to add it into more pro uh, projects. I'm sure I'll be doing lots with it because it was a whole lot of fun to make. So, um, you know, get out your supplies and play around with them. See what you can come up with and see how you can use it. Uh, I think you'll find that there's just a lot of really cool stuff to play with in the art world. So, as always, be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.